Two balls and a strike to count on Taylor. Reyes fires. Swing and a drive. Deep left field. This is way back. Walk the ball. What's up, everybody? Welcome into Dodger Heads, presented by DodgerBlue.com. My name is Jeff Spiegel, joined today by Daniel Stark. And some breaking news randomly surprising <laughs> us here on a Monday. Max Muncy signs an extension with the Dodgers. He had a team option for $13.5 million for next season. That has been guaranteed. In exchange, the Dodgers get a club option in 2024 for $10 million plus incentives. We'll get into Muncy, the player, but... I mean, Daniel, this came out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, totally random. I mean, you would have thought we've been talking Trey Turner all season long. You would have thought, like, if there was some big news on an extension at, at some point, it would be him. But no, it, it's Muncy. And like you said, it kind of, you know, it comes out of nowhere. Um, you know, his season has been kind of a mixed bag, but he's looked better as of late. So, um, I mean, we'll get into it now. But I, I would assume the Dodgers are – liking what they're seeing lately if they're willing to commit another year to him. <clears throat> yeah, Matt and I went live on Sunday night, and the question was, hey, are you buying what we've seen out of Max Muncy? And as you just hinted, clearly Andrew Friedman is buying what he's seen out of Max Muncy. After yesterday's game where he goes two for four with a home run and an RBI single, he has now reached base 20 times in a row. In the month of August, he has 58 at-bats, 12 extra base hits with seven of those being home runs, eight walks, 15 RBIs, and OPS around 1,200. His season numbers have now moved into the above average category, according to weighted runs created plus, despite the 186 batting average. Um, he's changed his swing. He's looked good defensively. I mean, 13 and a half million bucks for Muncie next year is a steal. And given everything involved in his game, two years from now, I'm not expecting a sharp decline, right? No, ab absolutely. I mean, he's only 31 years old. He was already kind of a late riser like he's only been in you know that you know with the Dodgers in the MLB since 2018 I believe was when they first called him up so it's only been a handful of years it's not like there's a ton of mileage there but but yeah I mean this this to me it's 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 a good deal for both sides like if you if you're looking from Muncie's perspective like he's a guy who was out of the league completely a few years ago um, yeah. You know, winds up getting another shot with the Dodgers and made the most of it. But then you look at the injury he had last year, the start he had to this season, like nothing is really guaranteed. So he already had a team option for next year. So this basically shifts that team option to the year after. They're basically guaranteeing next year for, what, like you said, $13 million. Um, and, and to me, from the Dodgers side, I think that's really team friendly. Like you, if you look at the player Max Muncy is, outside of a few months this year, he's been really good for like the last four years and i think we could attribute at least part of his struggles this year to you know the elbow issue so now he looks healthy like you said he made some changes to his swing and he's looked better you know lately so if he's the max muncie that we know yeah. and love then this deal is an absolute steal for the dodgers yeah going back on his contract history so in february of 2020 is when he signed a three-year 26 million dollar extension that was buying out some years of arbitration <clears throat> that included the $13 million option for the fourth year. That's the year that was just guaranteed by the Dodgers. So, you know, when you look at a guy like Muncie, it, he's been underpaid for the production that he has. Of course, as you said, he's kind of fortunate to be in the league, given his history, and, and he's probably just happy to be here. So now he basically guarantees himself that that deal worked out to a four years, $40 million deal, plus now a $10 million option with incentives. So I would imagine that $10 million is going to be a higher number once the Dodgers have to decide whether or not to pick it up. But you said it. I mean, what we're seeing in August is not just, okay, he's getting closer to peak Muncie. It's like flaming hot peak Muncie. And when you look at the swing changes and you look at the things, it feels sustainable. It feels like maybe the elbow is healed up. He's got that back foot shuffle. It feels like he's dialed in. The eye has not gone anywhere. And so you kind of touched on it, but I'll just ask you point blank. I mean, are you buying that Muncie is back, that the next few months heading into the postseason, we're not getting some bootleg version of Max Muncie, but we're getting the real deal? I, I'm definitely buying it. I think it's now, you, you know, you give the month of August stats. We're now almost at the end of August. It's not <laughs> yeah. like we're in, like entering the second week of August. Like now it's it's been kind of going for a few weeks here. Um, and I also think there's not a ton of pressure on him. Like as great as he's been, like he doesn't even need to necessarily be that good. He just yeah. can't be as bad as he was for the first half of the season. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely buying it. I think I like the tweaks he made, you know, with his back foot and such. I like 
Um, you know, I like that he's punishing the mistakes, which when he's at his best, that's what we've seen. And that's what, when he was at his worst this year, that's what we weren't seeing. He was swinging through a ton of, you know, middle, middle pitches. Um, you know, we know he's got a great eye. We know he's not going to swing at balls. So it's just, you know, it just comes down to can he punish the mistakes inside the strike zone? And that's what he's doing now. We're seeing more slug. We're seeing more hits just overall. Yeah. Like the guy was batting, like his his batting average is still under 200, but it's creeping up from like the 190. One yeah there you go he's almost at the mendoza line there so it's creeping up um so so yeah i'm definitely buying it i mean he's a guy who we know when he's at his best is a difference maker um you know he'll probably never say how much the injury was affecting him but i think anyone who watched like is pretty clear like something you know was not 100 percent or, or whatever the case may be so i think i think it's just a combination of health um you know some of the tweaks he made and also just like a guy that good is not gonna slump for too long you know so yeah so yeah, I'm definitely buying. A little bit of vindication, too. We've talked a lot about on this show, people saying, bench the guy, bench the guy, bench the guy. And <clears throat> our take all along was, hey, you keep playing him because if there's a 20% chance that he figures it out and, and gets dialed in before the postseason, you just keep taking that chance every single day. You don't need the games anyways because you're pulling away in the division. Well, guess what? The 20% seems to have come through. Max Muncy, as you said, OPS over 1,200 in the month of August, 12 extra base hits in just 58 at-bats. He's been absolutely on a torture, and the Dodgers reward him. Again, they guarantee his salary for 2023. That was going to be a $13 million club option. They picked that up at $13.5 million, and then tack on a club option for 2024 at $10 million plus incentives. As you said, he's 31 years old. He'll turn 32 here in just about a week, and uh, not even a week. I think a couple of days he'll be turning 32, but... Good little birthday present, early birthday present for Muncie there. So let us know what you think below. I mean, Daniel and I are sitting here on a Monday completely shocked and surprised to get this news. But, hey, it's good news. This is a good deal. This is a below market deal in 2023. And we both seem to think it'll be a below market deal in 2024 as well. That's Daniel Stark. And my name is Jeff Spiegel. As always, we appreciate you joining us. Check out DodgerBlue.com. Dodger Blue 1958 on social media. And of course, make sure you subscribe, ring the notification bell here as well. Wednesday, we're doing a live watch along. So follow us on social media. We'll post the link there, but you'll be able to join us to watch the Brewers and the Dodgers face off. It's going to be a fun one. Again, we appreciate you joining us. We'll see you next time.